Hi, in this video we're going to continue looking at the principal grounds. So in a previous video we've looked at place, which is one of the principal grounds, and in this video we're going to look at distance. Now the first thing to know is what Silver says about distance. He discusses it a lot and it's one of those terms that keeps cropping up within his work. But what he actually says is keep your distance and suffer not your adversary to win or gain the place of you. Now, it's quite clear from that that distance and place are very closely related. And in fact, they're actually two sides of the same coin. They're effectively the same thing, but viewed from the other person's perspective. And once you understand that, it becomes very easy to, to get your head round quite what he means by distance. With place, what we mean is, do I have to step to be able to carry out an action. If I don't, I'm in the place for that action. With distance, I'm interested in whether you have to step to be able to carry out an action. But this is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated, in that I don't know what your action is going to be. I don't know whether you're going to strike the tip of my sword, and use that to wide space me to take my tip off line in order to open up um, an option for an attack. I don't know whether you're going to put a straight cut to my head. I don't know if you're going to step in with a thrust. I can't know these things until they begin to happen. So what I have to do when I'm looking at distance is I have to assume that every possibility is valid. So what that means is that when we're looking at place, we have this laser focus. We target this right down into the specific action that we are going to undertake. Whereas with distance, we have to broaden it as much as is humanly possible. So if I am close enough to you that you could hit me in any way, I'm in distance. And I may not be in the place. And it's very important to know that distance and place are not quite synonymous. They're not exactly the same thing. And that's really important because what it means is that it's possible to be in the place for an action, but also be outside of distance. But conversely, it's also very possible to be within distance and not in the place. And you have to be able to, to know this. You have to be able to, to understand whether you are in distance. You have to be able to understand whether you're in the place. Otherwise, you'll never ever be able to fight somebody successfully. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this understanding over time and when we look at some of the drills and some of the other theoretical stuff in order to be able to create situations where we have gained or won the place of our opponent whilst staying out of distance. And that's quite a tricky thing to do, but that's essentially the basis of Silver System. And as we talk more about it, we'll look at some of the nuances of it, and as we start looking at time, and we split it into true or false, then you'll start to see how this becomes quite an elaborate system of measuring whether we're safe or not. And that's basically what Silver System is all about. Anyway, that's the principal ground distance and how it relates to the principal ground of place.